Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and today we're going to be doing a Let's Play for Infinite Undiscovery for the Xbox 360. Uh, we will be getting as many achievements as possible. Um, if you're playing on the easiest mode, you'll miss out on about four achievements because they require the post-game dungeon. Uh, normal, you'll miss out on two of them, and hard, you'll miss out on one of them. Um, it actually, in order to get to the hardest uh, mode, Infinity, which I will be playing on, uh, you actually have to beat Normal to unlock Hard. Then you have to beat Hard to unlock Infinity. So you'll have most of the achievements probably from those two, but you'll have to get um, the last achievement on Infinity mode. Okay, let's get started. What? My stomach is kind of rumbling. Is there any chance of me getting something sweet to eat? Uh. And maybe even a cup of tea, you know, to wash it down. Quiet, scum! Since I've been locked up for three days now, I'm feeling really... Shut up! You're a warrior, ain't you? Have some pride! But I'm not a warrior, you see? I'm a flute player. Haven't you ever heard of Capel the Suitler? No. Really? Hmm. I must need to practice more. Anyway, could you bring me some of that food I asked for? Ow! Hey, you didn't have to hit me. I don't! Ugh. This can't be the same guy smashing chains. Lord Sigmund, it's me! I'm here to rescue you! Are you hurt, my lord? We were forced to scatter at Fael, but we've managed to regroup. The others should be nearby as well. My lord, we must leave! Uh, but I... No time for talk, my lord. We must go! Look, I... I... Stop! What? You're making a big mistake. Who are you here for? You, of course, Lord Sigmund. Who? Huh? Sigmund? Who's he? I don't understand. It's you, my lord. Behind you! Look out! How'd a girl get in here? Seize him, too! Excuse me, but... Can't we work this out, you know... Without fighting? I don't want any more trouble. Crush his limbs. What?
Okay, and these are basically showing the basics of combat. Um, RT, the right trigger button, that withdraws your weapon so you can attack enemies. And it also puts your weapon away. Um, you can put your weapon away in the middle of combat. And I've done it before. It's not fun. You end up basically sitting there taking like five or six hits while you're trying to get your weapon back out. So, yeah, try to avoid that if you can. But you probably will do it at some point. Okay, these are the basic combos that you can use whether or not you have MP. Uh, AB, it knocks the enemy into the air. AAB, it knocks the enemy down onto the ground. And AAAB, that re that's just a good combo that restores the attack power which is used to knock the foes into the air or onto the ground. Um... Battle skills, if you ever played the Star Ocean series, it's exactly like that. You assign a skill to the A button or the B button, and if you assign it to the A button, it does normal damage for the normal MP cost, but if you assign it to the B button, it does higher damage with a higher MP cost. Okay, combos. Basically, for combos, you get a small bonus depending on how you combo the enemy. If you manage to knock them into the air and keep hitting them in the air, you'll get a small amount of experience. Um, if you manage to hit them while they're just standing there on the ground, then you'll recover some of the attack power. And if you manage to hit an enemy while they fell down onto the ground, while they're laying on the ground, you'll restore a little bit of HP and MP. In my opinion, that's the most difficult one to do because they just don't stay down there for too long. You'll probably get about three or four hits while they're down there, and that's pretty much it. Okay, attack points. This is what I was talking about. Okay, notice how that little sword on the right side of the screen has a target symbol right there? That's basically the enemy that you're targeting, and if that yellow part is filled up past that then that means the attack that you're using if it has the property of knocking the foe down or knocking him into the air then that means you'll be able to have that added effect when you use that skill oh yeah um yeah that's basically how you do uh, combos aerial combos ground combos each skill can either knock them down or knock them onto the ground there's a couple that doesn't do either okay the parry device right here the deflect drive um it's pretty useful, uh, except for the part that it takes a little time to do. It probably takes about a second and a half to pull off. Um, so it's only it's very useful in this very first fight on Infinity Mode because these guards will hit you for so hard, and it's useful for a couple of boss fights um, on Infinity Mode, in my opinion. But for the most part, on the easier modes, you probably won't even use it. It, I mean, if you get good at it more power to you but for the most part it takes so long that you'll end up being comboed by other enemies while you're trying to use it okay and here we go okay um, on normal easy and hard mode you're not gonna want to run away from these guys you're just gonna want to pound on them and you'll kill them in about 10 or 15 seconds tops but because we are playing on infinity mode if I try to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them they will clear me out at about 10 to 15 seconds tops um, the best way to beat them, yeah see, they're doing 37 to 40 hit of damage right now. If I try to attack them, see I'm barely doing, uh, uh, the maximum amount of damage you'll probably do on Infinity Mode of these guards right now is 4 damage, and that's on a critical hit. So what you want, what you want to do is, see this chair right here? We're going to, the set of boxes right here, we're going to try to get one of those guards stuck behind those boxes in that chair right there. So that way we can deal with uh, one by itself in the corner. So what we do is we try to get one to attack. We don't want both to attack, we just want one to swipe at you. There we go. And then bring the other guards to this box, he'll swipe at you. You run around here. And then if you time it right, ah, see? See look how bad they're tearing my health down. Um, if you time it right, that guard will get stuck trying to run around that chair, and you'll be able to wail on his partner over in the corner. Let's see. Come on. Attack. Uh, there you go. Come on over here, big guy. Yeah, see. But because he ran off a little bit to the side of the chair right there and attacked me, instead of just running behind the chair and attacking me, that didn't work that time. Yeah, this part's going to take a while, actually. Even after I get him stuck and start damaging him, it's going to take a few minutes because my damages are doing so low against him. Alright, and there's that parry in action right there. See, it stuns him for a few seconds, so you can have your, your way with him. But see, if you mess up your parry, then your 
a sitting duck. I, I'm doing the air combo right here because they'll end up on the ground and you can do that down combo which restores a little bit of health. So basically it's like getting a two for one. You get the, the bonus experience and the bonus uh, health restore. Crap. Yeah, you could try to just attack them like this, but a lot of times they'll just interrupt your combo. So that's why I prefer to do the, uh, the parry. Crap. And I'm probably not going to make it this time. Still, so probably see a game over screen here. Yeah, I'm just going to die. Get it over with. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Oh, and by the way, there there actually won't be this many deaths on Infinity Mode here. It's just the first hour, so you're going to see a couple deaths because um, because the gear is just not as good. But once you start getting towards the middle of the first disc, it'll be about as easy as the earlier difficulties. I mean, the game Super Boss will probably still give you difficulties, but not any more than not any more than she normally would. And another thing I like to do over here is I like to reposition myself every couple of attacks so that way I'm still in this corner right here. Otherwise, uh, the way the guard behind the chair is targeted out to me, if I don't reposition myself, he'll eventually reposition himself so that he comes around and gets unstuck quicker. And what'll happen then is you'll end up having to go run all the way around the room again and try to get the guard restuck back over in the chair and what usually happens when I try to do that is I'll end up getting the guard stuck behind the chair that I already damaged so I'll have to start fresh on the other guard and I don't know why that always irritates me it feels like I have to restart the whole thing I mean you're still gonna kill him the same amount of time but it's just annoying in my opinion yeah this guy's taking forever to kill but yeah if you played Star Ocean before you're gonna be dumping into the combat in this game no problem the only difference is I think Star Ocean, your main character, or whoever you're controlling, can use magic, but in this game, Capel can't use magic. So it's not that big of a difference. But the battle skills are pretty much the same. And I don't think Star Ocean has a uh, parry device, I'm not sure though. I haven't played the latest one, the last one I played was the third one. And this guy's almost dead, finally. I wonder if I can parry from behind. Oh wow, I didn't know I could do that. I always thought you actually had to be facing the guy to do it in order to do it. That would have made a couple of my Infinity Modes when I first got the game a lot easier. Because when I first got the game and I beat Hard Mode, I went straight into Infinity Mode without even pausing. And I thought it would be easy. I died like 30 times with these guards. It probably took about 5 or 6 hours of trying to beat these guys and that was with looking up videos on YouTube and stuff like that or going to message boards oh and just because you got the uh, the one guard down don't get cocky on this guy because he'll, he'll still get in a few hits if you're not careful and you'll still get wailed on I, I actually died on this, this last guard by myself before he yeah, was down to like 30 HP or something like that and I missed time and he killed me he got like a two hit combo and took off 80 my health. I died. I was pissed. Come, yeah, see, look at this. Okay, just getting wailed on right here. Alright, this guy's almost dead. Come on, there we go. Damn it. Keep missing these ding parries. Come on. Once more, do it. Yeah, a couple more, I guess. Alright, one more comp, and he should be good. Alright. Yes, and he is gone. Finally.
I guess I beat him. <sighs> you okay? You really aren't Lord Sigmund, are you? No. But then... Sorry to disappoint you. Uh... No time to brood over this. So, what's your name? Capel. I'm Aya. Alright. Now we need to think about getting out of this place. We? Of course. No thanks. I stay out of danger. I'm telling you that I'll help you escape. I didn't ask for help. I don't care if you want my help or not. I couldn't forgive myself if I left you behind. What? Come on, for my sake, just follow me. All right. Okay then, let's go. And that's one of the main reasons why I like Capel so much. He doesn't want to get dragged onto this grand adventure and do anything. He just wants to sit there and rot in prison. He doesn't want to cause any problems. But no, he gets has to get he just has to get dragged along for the ride. He just wants to be a generic flute player just sitting there doing his thing. But they won't let him. Okay, the menu in this game does not pause the action when you use it. So if you're out in the middle of battle and you go to use your potion or whatever, you will continue to get hit. Um, Capel is sitting down right here when he's using the menu. Uh, that's going to happen when you're in towns or if you don't have your weapon withdrawn when you're out in the field. Um, if you're out in the field and you have your weapon withdrawn, then you will not sit down to use the menu. And that's highly recommended because... It'll take about an extra second and a half to open the menu when you're sitting down for it and close it. And that time, you'll be a sitting duck for enemies to attack you. Um, I prefer to just let my allies do the healing because they're pretty good about it. They, they can use health potions, they can revive you, but they're not going to use mana potions though. Redberry potion recovers 30% of your health. Blueberry potion recovers 30% of the entire party's health. And Miraculous Medicine is a revive. Yeah, in order to open treasure chests in this game, you have to have your sword put away. Except for when you want to smash them open. Yeah, because this chest is locked, you're going to have to either have someone that can open it with the uh, lockpicking skill, you get two characters that can do that later, or you have to bash it open with your sword and run the risk of destroying the item. Um, if you destroy the item, it'll always come out as junk, which is actually useful for like uh, item creation and stuff like that. But if you don't destroy the item, then you get the item. Uh, some chests cannot be smashed open, and those are usually fancy looking chests. And you can also uh, smash open the regular unlocked chest, but you also run the risk of destroying the item in there, doing it that way. Let's see, if you don't destroy this one, you get a blackberry potion. Which I believe restores mana. Alright. And we're going to equip those uh, greaves in just a minute. We're going to run around and look for somebody here, because... There's a side quest that starts over here. Let's see, I know he's around here somewhere. Is he on the second floor? Wait, no, he's not on the... I don't think he's on the second floor. Oh, but there is a treasure chest over here. Not that guy. Go into this... Go into this cell right here, and you'll get another blackberry potion when you open the chest. Yeah, and we're gonna go ahead and equip those 
leaves now. Oh, right. And there's a save point coming up over here. So, I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. And I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Oh, and I think this was a guy that we were supposed to talk to. But we'll find out next episode. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.